Hello, my name is Mayan Shaw with RVMax.us and today I have this 2002 Beaver Monterey 36 Seacliff. Um, it's a beautiful full body paint coach and I've always been particular to beavers because 10 years ago my first memories of traveling were in a Beaver Marquee 42 tag axle. Um, so every time I see the Beaver logo I get all excited because I know they're beautiful coaches. Um, let's take a look around this one and we're going to talk about the good, the bad and the ugly as my dad would say and as uh, maybe Clint Eastwood would say. All right, in the front, we have a 7,500 watt Onan quiet diesel generator. It's on an electric slide, so all you do is open this compartment and press a button. So while it's opening, take a look in here. Um, you've just got some, I think these are relays and I'm not sure exactly, just electronics. This is mainly for your chassis side. Um, so like your indicator stock, uh, your headlights, windshield wipers, things like that. You, have, you also got uh, wiper fluid right there, which it has some. Um, so you can fill it up quite easily. So let's go take a look at the generator now. As you can see, you can get it far enough out, you can do your oil changes in it, um, and you can start it from up here as well. Super quiet. Um, the mounting system that they've used on this coach is beautiful um, because that's really the key. These generators are very quiet, but that's really the key to keeping them uh, quiet and not sending too many vibrations through the coach. Let's take a step around here. The front tires are good. Actually, all the tires are good. They're a 2014 date code. Um, so they're right at like five years old. And I know people say replace them at five years, but these are showing no dry rot cracks. Um, and really, I think that's a little overhyped, the five years. Um, if I was personally going to take it on a, like a long distance trip to California, I'd maybe put two new tires on the front just to be extra safe. And we can always get you uh, cheap tires or at a cheaper, at a discount price, we can get you Michelins or anything you'd like, um, if you'd like to be extra safe. Right here, you have some storage compartments. These go out with the slide, so you don't bump your head if you're trying to get down under the coach. It's all got this nice green uh, fabric. Now the coach is, it looks like it's losing clear coat right here on this panel, and same with up here. Just a little bit. There are places like that around the coach, I'll point out. Up here you have your LP tank, of course with no lock on it. There it is. Well, it's slid out now, but if you, if you go down, that becomes flush when the slide is in. Shows you the level, things like that. It's a huge LP tank. Now this coach has a 100 gallon fuel tank, as well as a 100 gallon freshwater tank. So you've got plenty of uh, storage for necessary fluids. And here, this is your wet bay. So this is where you dump your tanks. Um, it also shows different valves. So if you need to cut something off, if something's leaking, um, <coughs> RVs are not perfect. So it's nice to have that. It's also your city water, even outside shower slash uh, faucet. <coughs> I apologize for the coughing. The uh, pollen has been really getting to me. Now here's some more of that clear coat uh, damage I was talking about, it's just coming off a little bit. Um, interestingly, only on these green parts. I can't really see it happening on the white or anything above the green. So just some minor cosmetic stuff going on. Right here we have, um, it looks like the paint is just kind of chipping off this aluminum piece. <coughs> I could probably be resprayed for like 200 bucks. You gotta take it out, uh, spray it, or have a painter spray it, and then rivet it back in. Not too big of a deal. Again, that's uh, aluminum and cosmetic. You may want to paint it just to protect it. You know, that's up to you. Check out the side of it though. It's a beautiful, it's a striking coach. Um, really cool paint job. Now this does have an aluminum frame, an aluminum superstructure. Um, so Beaver made a really good coach. It's part of the Monaco Corporation. So this thing rides on a Magnum chassis. It's a Roadmaster Magnum chassis which is a fantastic chassis. It's a custom chassis built by Monaco Corporation. Um, they're really well known. I, I encourage you to look them up on forums. <coughs> Back here is where you see your radiators um, and you can, ask, you can access them to clean them, but they look really good. Um, they actually look maybe newer than original, so that's nice. Right there is your Roadmaster Magnum chassis. It has the vent of the coach. Um, it's a model M2900. That's the, the, the model number for the chassis. Now you see the clear coat's coming off here a little bit on the bumper, um, just a little bit there. I don't think it's, it's, it hasn't come off here yet, but 
looks like it's bubbled a little bit, so it's beginning to peel off. Um, and we have some scuffs here on the other, on the uh, passenger side rear bumper corner. Camera person's doing a great job of showing you those flaws. <laughs> That's good though. That's what these videos are all about. We want to save you time um, and save us time, and we want to be very honest about the product we have. Um, also on the top, if you can see the top uh, corners right there, there, the clear coat's coming off. That's pretty common. I mean, this is a 17-year-old coach that goes around the coach. You can see it. But besides that, below it, the paint looks great. Um, you can see your backup camera there. It's got a cool styling in the paint, so that's nice. <coughs> right here, you have your six-gallon hot water heater. Under here, you've got uh, looks. That's pretty cool. It shows your oil pressure for your engine, water temp. You have some filters. Um, this is where you check your engine oil and transmission oil. And it looks like you can fill your, I think, Dextron too. That's probably your power steering fluid. So that's pretty cool. That's nice to have. This is where your chassis and coach batteries are. And the date code on them is 1118. Listen to me using that uh, terrible English. But 1118. So batteries are pretty new. I think we may have put new batteries in this coach. Because um, we had it for a while. We are putting floors in it. And just fixing things, putting some uh, batteries in it, doing maintenance that it needed to do. This was a trade-in coach. Um, so generally we buy trade-ins because they're a little better taken care of, but every coach, I mean, 17 years old, they're gonna need a little something. Um, so we were totally ready to do that. Right here you have a little scuff. And that's deep. I mean, you can get a touch-up paint, little paint pen. Right here is some more scuffs. That's not deep, that'll polish out. Check out the paint up here, it's really cool. It's uh, It almost looks like two-tone paint, but it's not. It's like blue here and it fades into green. All the stripes do that, it's really neat. The paint is gorgeous. Besides the few blemishes here and there, the paint is gorgeous on this coach. It's very striking. Now this is only 36 feet, so it is a short diesel and it's got a Cummins ISC 8.3 liter. Um, I think it either makes 330 horsepower or 350 horsepower. <coughs> you have another little scuff right there, a little scratch. Of course, I am nitpicking this coach, showing you all the flaws that I see. Down here, you have a good amount of storage, just the old uh, microwave. We can throw it out or you can keep it. It's up to you. We have this panel off. It was winterized, um, so we need to de-winterize it soon because that's access to the water pump. Sometimes they get stuck a little bit. You gotta push them in. There's more storage right here. You can see some of your tanks. Now this right here is a valve for your water tank so you can quickly drain it when you need to winterize the coach. You have a small little storage compartment right there. You can see the aluminum frame and uh, subframe here, it's pretty cool. Beaver makes a high quality product or used to at least. Now take a look at this big patio awning. That's a fully, it's a one touch system, um, fully electric. Buttons inside the coach. You don't see that too often on a 2002 model coach. And it goes pretty, it's a pretty deep um, awning, especially for a 36 footer. Now this, I would like to mention, this also has uh, diesel fuel fill, fill ups um, on both sides, so it makes it a little easier to fuel the coach up when you're stopping um, you know, on a trip somewhere. All right, let's take a step inside the coach. All right, before we step inside, I'm glad my camera person's here because she just noticed that there is a little star crack in the windshield. Uh, you want to take a closer look. Um, I didn't notice it, but she did. It's right there. Um, it's not deep, it hasn't gone through, so that it, won't, it shouldn't spread. The other windshield, which is the driver's side, doesn't have anything wrong, so that's good. Um, the front of the coach looks great. Up there, you see a little bit of the you can see a little bit of the clear coat problem, but it's not too bad. For the most part, the front of the coach looks great. All right, now let's step inside the coach.
All right, we're on the interior of this coach now, um, and you'll see what I mean by the level of craftsmanship that this coach does have, especially on the interior woodwork. Now, all the woodwork is real oak, um, and it actually has, the color of it reminds you, um, if you've ever been to like a cabin, um, it feels like a cabin in here with all the colored wood, um, and also this floor here, which I believe was put in. This is not what these came with. These came with carpet and then some tile here and then carpet again. But this coach instead has all, it, I think it's like an engineered or real, real wood floor, um, but it looks fantastic and is throughout the coach from the entrance all the way into the back bedroom. So it's really easy to keep clean. Um, and it really goes with that cabin feel uh, that you get coming from the wood. Now to your right, um, there was a couch here and this is also, this is a twin mattress right there. So this is really comfortable. And this is actually an interesting modification. I've never seen this before. It looks like someone took out the couch that was here and put this mattress down. Um, but I will say, this feels like a proper bed. Um, even better than those air mattresses that you pull out of the, even, the higher end coaches. This, I mean, you can't beat a real actual mattress that's not a fold out. It also works pretty decently well as a couch too. You've got those cushions back there, so you can still use it as a couch. Now up here in the kitchen area, we have, this is all Cory in here. You've even got the little beaver logo right there on your insert for your sink. Got a dual sink. Feels like a fiberglass sink. Or some type of surface like that. But these are all Corian inserts. You've actually got a decent bit of counter space, especially back here. You've got a three burner gas stove. And that's a nice gas stove right there. That's an Atwood. Um, so that's a bigger, um, higher output stove. And I like this little piece right here. So this piece is another piece of Corian that kind of matches the Corian lip that you have on the actual countertop itself. So that's a nice little stove set up there. Set these back in place. There we go. We've got a little crack here. There are two little cracks here in the Corian. Doesn't go all the way through, but little hair cracks. Now up above, you have a nice Samsung Smart Oven, which is a convection slash microwave oven. Um, so that old oven must have been from the uh, you know before that what originally came with it. So this is a nice little upgrade we've got here. Got a lot of counter space up, or a lot of cabinet space up here. Check out the wood on the ceiling. You got these two pieces of wood strips that go down the coach. It gives it a nice look. It feels like a bus in here. Um, and also just a touch of kind of like a yacht feel with the wood on the ceiling. And over here you have a four-door gas slash electric um, refrigerator with an ice maker. So this can automatically run off of either propane um, or AC power. Right here you've got a little dining table. Now you can extend this and there's an extension in the back closet for it as well. You've got these huge windows um, with really nice these, if this came with the coach, this is really nice. So what you do, you just pull them down, and then they go back up. You press the button, and it goes right back up. So they're really easy to operate, um, and they look sleek. They look new, um, and it gives an updated feel. You have a nice little recliner here with a desk. Now this desk can fold away if you'd like. All you do is lift it like this to put it away. You got a little shelf space down there as well. But I actually like. Because this is all real oak wood, it's very lightweight, so it pulls up very easily. Um, it also looks very nice. I'm not entirely sure how this works. What's that? Hmm. I'll have to look at this. I'm not sure how it works. <laughs> I don't want to break it. Ah, there we go. There's a little lip in there that you need to get it in. Um, and that's nice, so it doesn't move anywhere really. A little bit side to side. It's kind of a sturdy table. Now the fabric condition is in good shape. Um, you can see with all the designs in this fabric, the fabric's in fantastic shape here. Um, no cracking, no wearing through. Looks good, no stains at all. You've got a nice upgraded Insignia TV up here. So that's a newer smart TV. It's a nice upgrade. Nice little accent lights. And by the way, those accent lights are, uh, you can dim them if you'd like. So you can dim this above here, and you can dim those, those other little fixtures on the walls as well. So that's pretty nice. 
All right, let's step back here into the bathroom area. Just like a little cleaning device here. Again, this is Corian. Um, this is a nice little, beautiful little vanity area. So the woodwork makes it look really nice, really well crafted. Um, and you also have a dimmer for your vanity lights. That's really nice. Um, but that just looks like a nicely crafted little area there. Over here, you have your bathroom area. And this new wood flooring looks makes the coach look a lot better in my opinion. Decent bit of space in there. Now you've got your shower right here. Good bit of shower space. Oh, I think we have it disconnected right now. I think, believe we would just winterize this coach. Now up here, this I've been up on the roof. The seals look good. Um, this wood is kind of sturdy here. It looks like it may have had a leak in the past, but there's no soft spots at all around here. Um, so this is all still good. And by the way, it's been raining in Greenville, South Carolina. Um, and it was raining actually earlier today. That's why the coach isn't the cleanest and it is not leaked at all. So... That's a good sign right there. That's a common area for leaks. I like this little storage space you've got here. All these little drawers. The wood in this coach is really one of the biggest uh, features and attributes it has. Check out this little space here. We have to lift them up. This is all real wood, so it's very lightweight and it looks um, quality built. A little wardrobe, like a miniature wardrobe in here. And there are some power outlets as well. Now there's a separation door up there between the bathroom area and the living room area. And there's also a separation door uh, right here. And check out the wood on. The, I'm going to go ahead and open it up just to show you. Um, looks very nice. Matches the rest of the wood. It's not a cheap, flimsy little press wood, press wood thing. Um, so th th now you're, you're starting to see why. I mean, this is definitely um, a coach that would be perfect for someone who's trying to start getting in the Class A motorhomes, diesels, um, but they don't want to spend too much money if they don't like it. Um, they don't want to buy a big new coach because this is actually a well-built coach. It looks nice inside. It's got a good diesel. Um, it's a good starter coach. So over there, you have this nice area of uh it's just i guess another vanity here okay we may need to put a bulb or two in here but it does have a little vanity just need some bulbs we can put those in some cabinet space back behind this is corian by the way so this is actually a little desk now that i look at it you could put a chair here if you wanted to and there's a hole there so this is like a little desk back here that's pretty nice we've got another upgraded insignia tv Now back here, you have a good bit of uh, a nice little wardrobe. So you see on the left, you have shelves. You have another shelf up top. And you have a rack. And it is lit as well. There's a light in there. It's accessible from, I believe, four different doors. The woodwork is fantastic in this coach. That's the extra leaf I was talking about extension for your table up there and then you have one more access compartment here and these are two extra fold-out chairs that go with the front so when you extend it you have two more chairs too that's nice they're strapped in they're built they've got, they got built-in straps for it so you can check out the the walls with all the woodwork um, I'm sorry if I keep talking about the woodwork it's just a, one of the biggest and most noticeable things about the interior of this coach There's more. I'm trying to get these little lights on that are around the coach. There we go. And they're dimmed as well, so you can check, see that. That's really nice. But I like those fixtures. They look very nearly timeless because this is a 17-year-old coach, and those don't look like 17-year-old fixtures. So I believe that concludes the interior of this motorhome. Um, and I was picking out all the, I was trying to pick out all the flaws that I saw on the exterior coach, and I really. 
hope I did get all of them because we like to be very honest about what we have. But the interior, I feel like I missed some things that are wrong. Um, but really, now that I look at it, now that we've gone through it, there really isn't that many flaws. It, it, there's only really one over there besides a few light bulbs being out. So the interior is in excellent condition. It's got a beautiful look. The woodwork is excellent. It's all oak, um, and it feels like a cabin in here. So let's go ahead and get this thing on the road, and I'm going to give you my feedback on how this coach drives. Remember, it's got that um, Roadmaster Magnum Series chassis combined with a 10,000-pound towing capacity and ISC Cummins that, according to the brochure, is supposed to make 350 horsepower, but my dad said it may be a 300, so we're going to get on the road. I'm going to tell you what I, what I feel like it is. It's supposed to be 350. All right, before we get on the road, I'm gonna talk about the cockpit area here. Now to my right, I have a uh, radio slash DVD slash CD player here. And it's also a navigation, but it's probably a little old. Um, you've also got your air conditioner controls. You've obviously got your Speedo tack. Um, now this coach is indicating 62,000 miles. You've got oil pressure, all the good stuff, your gauges. You've got your air pressure to the left, fuel. That's your backup camera right there. That backup camera does work. You've got a six-speed 3000 series Allison transmission. Um, over here you have, you know, mirror heat, passenger vi visor, driver visor. So it's got electric sun, sun shades, which is really nice. You've got your generator start. You've got an overhead um, auxiliary defrost fan. You've got a fast idle switch, so that's nice. Cruise control switches are over there. You got your jack system control and the, the pedals are actually um, electrically adjusted. So that's really nice. All right, let's go in and get this on the road. You got a CB radio too. That's pretty cool. All right, we're getting on the highway now with this coach. Um, and the first thing I've noticed while driving it over here, it's about a mile and a half to the highway, is the driving perspective is actually really nice. Um, I get a really good perspective of the road and they call it, because of the dash, like an eagle eye perspective, but Either way, the perspective of the driving position is really nice. This definitely feels like a 350 Cummins. This is not a 300 ISC. This is definitely a 350. It's got plenty of power. Now we're up driving about 67 miles an hour. Look at that. Cruise control works great. I just set it. The chassis feels very nice. It's very easy to keep it in the lane. The steering is nice. Um, Roadmaster definitely is one of the best chassis around. Um, and this is one of the earlier ones, earlier iterations of their the Roadmasters. This is a custom chassis built by Monaco, by the way. Um, and it drives very nicely. It's not pulling at all. Now this is fitted with an air over hydraulic brake system. So it feels a little different from the air brakes that you would get in a lot of newer coaches. Um, it's just a different setup the way it is. Oh, the coach drives very nicely here. Very nicely. The perspective is one of my favorite things and then the steering is my seven, second favorite thing about how this coach drives. Very direct steering. There isn't a dead spot in the center. Um, and I feel like I can, I can accurately place the coach in the lane. And like I said, it's not pulling either direction at all. The engine runs very well, um, as you hopefully heard in that startup video from earlier. But there isn't much else to say about this coach. Um, it drives nicely. This is a fantastic motorhome for someone out there uh, looking for a starter diesel coach. Um, or just someone who likes Beaver and, and likes, you know, nice diesel coaches but doesn't want to spend way too much money. Because you get a lot of nice features on this motorhome. Good craftsmanship, um, excellent motor. I mean, the 350 ISC Cummins is nothing to be laughed about. Um, you know, a lot of founders and a little lower end coaches, they come equipped with the 300 uh, ISB 5.9 liters, which is has significantly less power than this. And this has that 10,000 pound towing capacity. It's an all aluminum superstructure as well. This is a very nice driving coach. Very nice driving coach. So anyways, that will conclude the video for today. Uh, if you're interested in this motorhome, please call or text 
404-404-0054. Um, again, that number is 864-404-0054 um, if you want to schedule an appointment or come take a look at the motorhome. Now, please uh, check out our other videos too because we'll put a lot of videos on. And upcoming, just a quick teaser and a hint, we've got a... Uh, um, an 03 Prevo and a Tiffin Allegro Bus 09. They're coming soon. Um, as well as a uh, Bath and a Half National Pacifica quad slide. So we've got some cool coaches. We like to focus on these diesel pushers. Um, not too different from this coach. Uh, the diesels are just sort of our niche for the most part. Um, now we do have some Class A gas coaches and we'll take things on trade, but diesels are where we like to specialize. And this is a good driving coach right here. Plenty of power. The steering is so nice. All right, well, thank you so much for watching.